Rebecca O'Donnell. I'm the owner of Confectionery Masterpieces. Today we're going to learn how to do prep work for a gingerbread house. This is actually a candy house. It's made out of graham crackers and candy, royal icing, and each one is stuffed with candy. Now the legend of a gingerbread house is on Christmas night, after everyone's had Christmas dinner, the whole family goes into the room, they go to the house, and the children break open the house and they give a piece of it to everybody in the room and that's good luck for the coming new year. So today we're going to learn how to make stockings out of fruit stripe gum. Okay, when you make stockings out of fruit stripe gum, this is what you need. You need the fruit stripe gum, you need some red nonpareils. Now you can order these just one color or you can go into those confetti things and pick the red ones out. You want a little flat dish to put them in so that they're easier to get at. If you want different color beads and things like that, you can get dredges of different sizes. You'll need some little, um, like, tree confetti. You can get it mixed in with little things that, like Wilton, that kind of thing. You'll need a tube of royal icing, tweezers, a pair of scissors, and a paper towel. Paper towel is always to wipe the mouth of your little icing bag because he's always going to be a mess. So, the scissors I like to use are ones with little sharp tips like this. Say you want to do a green one. Cut out the boot shape again. You want to make the top of the boot just a little bit longer than what you're thinking because it's going to be covered with the trim. paper towel to wipe off my star tip. So let's trim off. Now the boot's going to move when you first put it on. Don't worry about it. Just put it back. Now the royal icing dries very quickly. So you want to put your little details on as fast as you can. Like that little holly. And then I dip the tip of my tweezers just a little bit in the icing just to get it damp. So you can pick up the little non-pareils one at a time. I like to put three on because that's what they usually have on decorations for, say, Christmas cards, things like that, the little holly. And there you go. And then you can peel them right off the wax paper and stick them wherever you need. 